but he always be trying to out love me this is when it's somebody else's birthday month you don't shop for yourself where the booty be popping but i don't know if the booty is popping because the booty has already been popping or if it's making the booties pop I didn't have great expectations when I came in here, you guys. Do you really want this cake? But your girl is about to glow up. Okay, I already feel like Triple A is God's calories anyway. You and me were meant to be as one. The universe has known it all along. Written in the stars. You and me Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Welcome to a new vlog. We are starting the vlog off getting ready to go on a lunch date, brunch date with my girlfriend. So we are going to have lunch with one of my former co-workers back in a previous life when your girl used to work in corporate America. Okay, but she is retired from that life, okay? 15 years. I don't think she'll mind me sharing here that she just retired as well. Did I just put that in my eye? Oh my goodness. This is the Bobbi Brown under eye primer. Like and so, you know, she texts me and she's like, you know what, let's link up, let's have lunch, let's do brunch, you know, let's get together, let's catch up. And so I was like, I'm down, I'm down. Y'all saw I was influenced, right? Remember that? I love that mug. That mug is so fun to drink out of. It's crazy. It's crazy. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. It's gonna be super duper dope. I'm gonna, I'm so excited to see her and catch up and all the things. So side note, if y'all were wondering why I was saying wow in my little makeup shorts, wow, it's because I did this makeup look that I'm about that I'm doing right now. I didn't hit record. So when you guys come in, I already had foundation on and I was doing my concealer. But I was like, you know what? I'm posting this anyway. Okay? We're gonna post this anyway. Okay, we had intentions and we are going to fulfill them. I am obviously using my YSL, okay? And so I ran out. Okay, first of all, let me let me just just in case uh who is this by? Urban Decay, if you ever come across my vlog, please stop changing y'all concealers. Stop it. Stop it. So this is the concealer that I actually love. Now this concealer was changed from a previous concealer that I loved beforehand and apparently from the girl in the Sephora yesterday, she was like, you know, they keep trying to keep up with everybody else or whatever and I'm just like, okay, but even if you're trying to do that, you're trying to stay with the trend, look at the numbers and see about the people who like the things that you already have. If you can see here, I'm scraping the sides. So I went into Sephora to re-up and they don't even carry this anymore. So I just bought this, this right here. What does this say? Quickie, this right here. This is what I had to, to get. This is what it looks like. Whatever the shade is that I used, to, that I wore 80WR, I just kind of got the same thing that was, this says 80W, Oh, it has like some little applicator brush here at the top. I don't know how this works. I'm gonna have to look at a YouTube video, not right now. And then it has this big old gadonk gadonk right here. So we're gonna see what this does today. We primed and all the things, so we're gonna go ahead and put on this orange. I am actually on the lookout for the Bobbi Brown corrector. I can't remember what it's called. So I usually just kind of correct real quick. I do not do all the steps. Um, <coughs> I think I mentioned that the girls do. I watched a get ready with me. No, it wasn't a get ready with me. It was another fitness um, YouTuber. And she did a like a get ready with me in her video. And she was doing like a nighttime routine or something like that <clears throat> and when I tell you she used like five or six products on her face I was like 
Wow, I am not about that life. Like, I need simplicity, okay, because all of that is gonna just make me not do it. I've never done all of those things. And hey, listen, I'm not even knocking the girls who do. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just saying, wow. To wash my face, I use one, two, toner. And honestly, y'all, you don't even really need toner. And y'all saw, I use Estee Lauder moisturizer. Sometimes, depends, I will use the Clinique moisturizer. That's it, that's the routine. And for taking um, makeup off, still Clinique. I've been using Clinique since my mom had me using Clinique in high school, like my mom. My mom bougie y'all. I was in high school using Clinique, okay? And I also use this to take my makeup off. And then makeup steps, foundation, blush, bronzer, uh, setting, baking. I don't do that either. And listen, I want to play in makeup. I'm having the desire to play in makeup more now, but I still need it to be simple. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how simple this is right now. So we have primed, we put on the corrector for under eyes because your girl has, you know, darkness under here. Um, let me make sure that's all I need to do, that's all I did, okay? Okay, okay, so let's, oh, I just kinda put this on my face, like so, and then we're gonna, That's what we're gonna do. Did I miss a spot? I'm trying to make sure we don't have any harsh lines anywhere. I think we're good. We blending under the neck. That's it, one pass through. Now, let's see how we do here. Ooh, I hope this is, this almost look like the same color as the foundation, but, oh, okay, let's see. That feels good. We're gonna start small. And then she says, use this. She said the girl's like this, right here. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's kind of rough. Was I supposed to wet it? Um, am I supposed to rub it? What am I doing? What is happening? This doesn't even feel good going on. I mean, I, okay, so let's, let me say this. I actually went in there to get a concealer brush, the Sephora concealer brush, I'm gonna use this. But they're sold out, so I have to get that online. This will be on, we gonna just, cause I just want this right here to be gone, really. I'm gonna use my beauty blender because that does not feel good to use that. So we're gonna use this right here. Yeah, see that's much better. I have more control here. And so it's number 51, 47, something like that. Something like that. So, okay, that's better. Pat, dab, you know, this, this is all we need to do here. I think that works. All right, so this is my first time using this. This came in a little gift set, Laura Mercier. I think I'm supposed to make sure your, your concealer doesn't crease, I, I think. This is what I see the girls doing. Wait a minute, I need you to come out. Yes, is that how you do it? This is what their face looks like. Oh my God, I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> Okay, I might have done a little bit too much over here. Did I? Y'all, yeah, please tell me in the comments. Am I doing this right? I'm not doing any contouring and stuff because I don't know how to do that. Does that look right? Do I need a brush to like... Oh, I made a mess. I guess I'm gonna let that bake. Okay, okay. So we're gonna put on my blush. This is my favorite blush by MAC. It's Raisin. I feel like I'm supposed to... Do I supposed... Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to... Is this supposed to sit and then I'm supposed to like brush it off? Y'all, I'm confused. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes. So let me give that a minute to sit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our eyebrows. <laughs> so I don't do much to my eyebrows. Uh oh, I don't do much. I just brush them up. I actually need to go and get them threaded. And all I do is fill in or brush in or whatever where it's just it just needs to be like filled in. I don't think I do any drawing. 
And then what I try to do is kind of do a cross eye thing with my eyes to make sure that they are even, which I think I just messed that up. Okay. And this is it. This is it. And then I just lightly try to create a little geek right there, a little point, whatever you want to call it. That's it. Let's see, I gotta get close. Okay, I think that works. It's gonna work today. So we, okay, that's enough time. So let's, I think I have to like, you know, dust off the excess. I don't know y'all. What is this looking like? I did not do this step in the, um, in the reel. Okay, so. <clears throat> no, this is not raisin. This is, um, what is this one? This is not raisin. Raisin is a little deeper. This is raisin. I just said it was my favorite. Look at the usage here. <laughs> Look at the usage here. This is, um, I don't know, but I like it. I just don't wear it that often. Cause it's like a it's like a little a little pinky that's fine then we're gonna put on a little bit of highlighter this is becca i've had this for so many years y'all all of my makeup is super old i know things have an expiration but honey i don't wear makeup like that or i've never really worn makeup like that i've already talked about that so things just last <laughs> they just last i feel like i need to do more to that eyebrow but it's giving all that I needed to give. It's, it's, well, not really. My eyebrows are actually minimally thick. Not like the thickest, but well, how, how are we doing? What do we look like? Do we look matched? Do we look, are we, are we giving anything? So I feel good today, you guys. I went to the gym and I played my favorite. Listen, if y'all need that crunk music, to get you through a workout, let me tell y'all the Pandora station to listen to. Type in DJ Class. DJ Class, C-L-A-S-S. -S. It will get you exactly where you need to be when you're working out. And that's to, that's to my girls who need like that crunk throwback, old school type of music, okay? Um, I have actually tried to listen to like you know, gospel to help me through workouts. I may have a few times, it really just depends on the song, but I really can't. Like when I'm working out, I need to be like, like I need to be crunk, you know what I'm saying? I really need to, so <laughs> y'all leave out in the comments, like what type of music, what type of music do you guys listen to? But I'm telling you, DJ Class will get you where you need to be. That station will make you work out longer. It really will, it'll make you put your all into it. You know what I'm saying? It really will. I'm telling y'all, I would not steer y'all wrong. I would not steer y'all wrong. I'm telling you, I love a good word. I love my word, okay? Um, and speaking of word, Hubby and I have been watching The Chosen. Y'all already know that. It is so good, oh my God. It's, I feel like almost every episode we cry. We cry, I cry, he cries, he tears. <laughs> He'll say he got something in his eye. But it's so good, y'all. And sometimes though, I feel like, like how are y'all with like remembering scriptures like the actual scripture where to find a particular scripture like i know scriptures but like to say oh this scripture is in you know matthew mark luke john oh someone's commenting on the video um you know esther revelations like it's hard for me to really remember scriptures i want to remember them i try to remember them you know i study i do my devotional and all of that but it's so hard for me i ask god i'm always like lord please you know please help me remember the word is in here okay the word is in here don't don't get it twisted it's in here god's voice is in my head all the time in my heart all the time being able to like have a conversation with someone who may who may need a little bit of guidance who may be struggling who may be new to the word like i can have a conversation with them about it but to like go back and reference where or point them in the right direction to like finding a scripture it's just, it just, it's never been my thing. I've never been able to like really remember. My memory is like crazy anyway, but I really wanna be able to do that more. And 
you know, if y'all have some tools or y'all have used anything or some tricks or something that like helped you to do that, let me let me know down in the comments, please. We doing lashes, y'all. We doing lashes. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. I hope you guys are enjoying the fitness vlogs on Tuesday. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. We have a lot of new subscribers. So hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey, hey man, hey. Yes, this is what I need. <laughs> Somebody just commented on the video about me getting braces saying how they had gotten aligners. Um, I, that is exactly what it's called. I kept saying Invisalign. That's the way too, but the, the your orthodontist is gonna say line, aligners. Um, she wishes that she got braces. Based on what the orthodontist said, aligners can only do but so much because it's plastic you know what I mean and I didn't know that like I'm just I just figured they just do exactly what the braces do but braces like I said before allows your your dentist to really align your teeth the way that they know they should be aligned professionally you know what I mean I need them to be I can't even say done right. The first. Actually, they were done right each time I've had them. It was me. <laughs> Not wearing my retainer. But they, they did what they were supposed to do. We did that. So I need to use one of these. <laughs> I want hubby to put one right here. Because listen, every time every time we go to a hotel, like we travel. And y'all know in the hotels, they have the mirrors that extend out with the light. Um, and and if I've really do I travel without having like extension lashes on but when I have in the past that thing is amazing even just doing like your eye makeup you, you because it's a magnifier too so you could either flip it to you know so you can magnify and be closer or you could flip it and it just be regular but the fact of the convenience is that you don't have to hold anything I want one of those and he's actually told me to go ahead and find the one that I want or whatever on Amazon but child I'll be forgetting all right so I think we're good I just need to brush my edges oh let me show you what I'm wearing the sun is coming out we got this onesie and I actually saw this on Instagram okay it has like a little droop droop hang time here between the leg it's super cute so I'm gonna wear this and I okay I am going to attempt to wear these okay I love these little sandals they're super super cute they are I don't even know they're from Nordstrom's. Y'all already know. That's my store. Look at the green there. That's so cute. Okay. We don't want to show no titties. That is so cute, right? It matches perfectly. So we're going to see. We're going to see if your girl can walk in these, in these shoes. The heel is much thicker. It's not as high and pointy as all my other shoes that I cannot wear. But we're going to see if I can walk in these. Being a little less in weight than I have been. My knees don't hurt. I haven't been doing a lot of excessive walking, so I think I should be good. So we are done here in the bathroom, chatting, chatting, chatting. So I'll see y'all once I'm dressed and out the door, or I'll see y'all at brunch. Hey guys, so we are ready to go. We are cute. Let's adjust these pants. <laughs> And we got us some sandals, you guys. It's actually quite comfortable. I am actually shocked. And like I said, the heel is much thicker. So we are good to go. I have on my, I got on my S necklace. Makeup is done. Hair is done. I, I can't wait till I lose just a tad bit more weight, y'all. So this could drop just a little bit more. It's cute, but I needed to like, it's, it should have like this low hang. I know this looks weird, but it's kind of cute too. I, I like it still. Um, but anyway, let's go and I'll see y'all out in these streets. Wherever 
This is my girl hey. Charlotte. We out here talking about vlogging, y'all. I know. So right? we, <laughs> <laughs> but we had a good, good dinner. Yeah, it's been we did. so good so long, you. So, so many lovely. Years. We're gonna try to get her to come work in a plant shop, y'all. Hmm. You never know. She definitely. You you do good. You never know. You do good. Yes, yes. It's been it's fun. Been good. Yeah. It's been so much fun. Hi guys, it's Thursday, happy Thursday. I'm in traffic, it's moving though, moving morning traffic. And I am on the way to an in-home repotting. I did her consult about two weeks ago and she only had one plant that needed to be repotted, but we had to wait until the plant dried out because she had not too long before uh, watered it. And I talked about here on the channel that it is repotting season and one of the tips for repotting is to make sure that your plant is dry. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm on the way to. It is early. Your girl is, I don't think I'm tired, but I sure could have laid in the bed a little bit longer. <laughs> you feel me? And plus I didn't have my morning tea with hubby. We always have morning tea and hug and do our little morning routine as happily married couple so if you're new here i am shana J. one half of this channel the other half is my husband his name is eric and we are team shannon yes you are getting the intro in the middle of the week <laughs> so if you enjoy our content please consider hitting that subscribe button and then you can take a stroll back through either our new vlogs or our older vlogs they are all in playlist the sun is sunning this morning in certain places <laughs> I had to hurry up and pack my stuff um, I have like the things to repot in the back but I needed like a bag um, because I can't find my little carry bag that I usually carry when I go to in-home consoles so I don't know where that is so I have another little bag that I found in the corner of my office um, oh what is this box in the middle oh my god so we're making do with what it do uh yeah and speaking of office y'all if y'all been watching the vlogs y'all know that hubby just celebrated his birthday and y'all know how i turned up for his birthday and y'all know i told hubby it's not a competition okay it's not a competition but he always be trying to out love me out love me out give me all the things okay i walk in the office in my office and why why it gets in my office y'all now i didn't walked in the office a couple of times i mean it couldn't have been not too many times since he's put them in there but i, I yeah i don't know i don't know how long it's been in there it couldn't have been in there long fairness i don't go in my office much because i'm usually at the shop or whatever and when i get home like the last thing on my mind is going in my office but when he does his portion of edits and stuff like that he does go in my office he's in my office a little bit more anyway my point is can you let me over i appreciate you thank you um the gifts are, are in the in my office on the floor in front of my couch and i was like what is this what are those what are those what are those so i got gifts i gotta open for my birthday come on son okay light your girl up but not that bright so i have gifts <laughs> And I'm excited. I'm excited to see what he he get me. I honestly, I told y'all he didn't have to. Well, I told him I, that he didn't have to get me anything. Like, oh my god! All right, so the sun has moved in a different direction because I have turned. But my husband is a huge introvert. Like, he is a real life introvert. Like, look look it up in the dictionary, and y'all you'll see his face. Like, I'm not even playing. So him going out and buying himself stuff or doing things, you know, even just kind of being out and about is not his norm. He does it for me. I love him for that. He does it for me, but he's very minimal, um, very frugal and just an introvert. 
if y'all know what a real like a real introvert like is and their their personality and their tendencies and stuff like that you know what i'm talking about if you know you know so and i love that about him for sure because i'm a new i think i was a closet introvert for a lot of my life and more of it has been brought out and not because of him per se but because it's just me realizing like what it is but i'm definitely i still have extra extrovert tendencies actions characteristics right at some point in time you know i gotta get outside you know what i mean i gotta go outside we balance each other out we do we balance each other out very well all that to say we balance each other out um the fact that he has gone out and gotten me gifts and put them together and wrapped them up in all that like i'm so it, it just makes me smile that he just not the not the gifts the action because i know it just takes a lot for him to do and he knows how much i love birthdays i love birthdays anyway i'm rambling one thing i need to do this week though is i need to go and get me some workout clothes i need to get another swimsuit and i need to get me some workout clothes because um your girl is struggling and one thing about it when you're a vlogger you notice like things that you definitely don't notice when you're not on camera and that is girl you can't wear the same outfit to the gym all the time i mean y'all know i mentioned back in vlog no 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 before vlogmas I tried to get some other things and I did a few shirts or whatever but like I'm going to the gym so much and sharing it you know what I'm saying because I'm bringing you guys along on this journey and in some clips and stuff or when I'm putting on my clothes I'm just like girl they already seen you in this like 1900 times so <laughs> in addition to that my clothes if you guys um just you know saw the last week uh workout video they fitting big they are fitting yeah girl they, they too big so we're not just gonna do things just because of content but we're gonna do things because it makes sense also right uh so i need some 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 gym clothes that fit too i said that last year that i really wanted to wait until i had lost more weight before I go and spend my coins on this expensive, expensive, on these expensive AF uh, athletic wear anyway. Because I'm just trying to figure out why athletic wear costs as much as it costs anyway. So, we smaller. Uh, so, I'm going to go get some stuff. There's some websites online that I want to try. But I think I'm going to start locally and go to go back to target i'll probably see what's at uh Lulu, what is it lulu luluman lulu chow i don't know it's one downtown hubby keeps talking about going to dickies um sport dickies but i feel like they are so ex they are so expensive i don't know but i think we're gonna start locally and see how that goes and then maybe order a couple of things online after we see how that works i think that i can find some really decent swimsuits out of target so that's where i'm definitely gonna probably get that from i just need like maybe two or three i have swimsuits now at the house that are super cute i have a i have a swimsuit i got from hawaii a few years ago when we went pre-covid obviously i'm saying a few that's three years but like before then and it's so cute and i but i can't wear it so i have like two two i actually have two or three swimsuits now swimsuits now that i actually can't wear so you know we gotta we gotta st we gotta take steps <laughs> i think i'm gonna I'm, i think i'm gonna do that this weekend so we might hang out saturday morning before going in the shop and and then i think i'm gonna go to this perfume place because i did say in my last vlog that there were some perfumes that i saw that i wanted but i was waiting because it was hubby's birthday month and that's one thing my mom taught me also when it's birthdays is when it's somebody else's birthday month you don't shop for yourself but my birthday month starts saturday and hey i feel like i want some new perfumes so we may do that as well but i am here you guys and i will check in with y'all a little bit later i have to call her to get in the gate all right first of all let's secure the bag this is a trick 
that an old lady taught me. Let me not say old lady, older lady. No, she was old <laughs> years ago. Hold on. And that is when you are in a grocery store or wherever with a cart, attach your bag in your basket. That way, if someone even tried or thought about grabbing your bag and they did it, they're taking the basket with you, with them. And by that time you can grab them. So this is actually cute. But, oh, this is an XL. This might work. Wait a minute, what is this? So it has some rouging. What is this? That's cute. This is vacation vibes. This is definitely giving me vacation vibes. Now that is cute, honey. Does she have the body? She does not have the body, but that is cute. Because she likes purple. Girl, she does not have the body, but she wants this. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to see. <laughs> we're going to see what we can do. But... Y'all, this Target, I just remember, does not have a lot of selections for athletic wear. So we're just going to get these bathing suits and try them on at home. I do not feel like trying them on right now, to be honest with you. We might go by Dick's and see what they have. Hey, y'all. So we are in Dick's. And let's have a little non-scale victory. So I have been looking for... Let me come closer here so you guys can hear me in the mic because sometimes the mic muffles from behind. I've been wanting these like little pants that has like the branding here around the waist. And apparently because it's spring, now all they have are the shorts and your girl is not ready to wear all of that, okay? And this one was just laying across a shelf somewhere like somebody changed their mind and it's a large. And I was like, girl, you cannot wear a large. Why does your girl have a large? Okay. Hannah, we love how it hugs. We're gonna wear this in the gym. Yes, we are. We're gonna wear our body, our God-given body, the way that it is until it gets the way that we want it to be. Okay, so next. Okay, so we are in outfit number two. Who would I be if we did not have green? Okay, so this is cute. I don't know if I'm ready to be out in the gym with my belly showing, so. I don't know. I'll probably still have a shirt on over this. Um, I'm just not there yet, but it fits really good. So this is the back. This is an extra large shirt. I feel like I may try, I may try on this extra, extra large just to see if it goes, like if it hangs lower. And if it covers more of this, then I'll go up a size. I don't need to go up a size, but if it kind of just gives me a little bit more here to work with, then we'll see. But I don't know actually now that I think about it because I have on a bra and obviously I wouldn't wear a bra if I had this on at the gym. So if I get a bigger size, then the cup may be too big. Ooh, I need to think about that. I didn't have great expectations when I came in here, you guys, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Okay, look at your girl. The last time when me and Javi were here before, these clothes did not fit like this. And I was very sad and I was very discouraged. So that's why I said like my expectations were not great in here for today, but hard work has been paying off, okay? It's been paying off, I'm excited. So I have two more things. Well, actually one more will be done. Last outfit, and I don't know if you guys can see what I don't like about this one. Okay, there's like a line right here that cuts right in between like where my navel area is, and that's not cool. In addition to that, there is like that line that comes all the way back here, and it makes my booty look a little bit more square. And y'all already know that I call this my, this is an imposter booty right here. Like this is an imposter. My butt does not look like this when I'm in shape. And it just really highlights it even more. But your girl wants to feel semi-cute, semi, you know what I'm saying? Semi-sexy. And this is not doing it. So it fits, but no. All right, let's roll. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? You enjoy the rest of your evening? Thank you. Have a good one. Mm. 
You guys, what I wanted to spend and what I spent, they didn't match. <laughs> so I was telling hubby, I was telling hubby this morning that I was gonna go look in Target, as you guys just saw, and try to find me some workout clothes and a couple of bathing suits. So I got a couple of bathing suits. And uh, I need to still try them on when I get home. I came to Dick's as you just saw too. And I got two pair of pants, y'all. Why I almost spent almost $200 on two pair of pants. You know? Yeah, one is Nike and I don't know what the other one is. But I told hubby, I was like, you know what? I feel like they are expensive. But anyway, one of them I really, really wanted. And I was just like, I just wanted to find two pair of pants under $50. Two under $50. That's all I wanted. But yeah, the price of <laughs> food is not the only thing that's expensive out here in these streets. So it's all good. I, I need probably two more pairs, but I think I'm going to order... Um, some off of this website online that I see one of the girls that you know I get a lot of inspiration from another fitness uh, chocolate drop out out here in these streets doing it big looking amazing she is she looks amazing I know we got to adjust the lighting as we make these turns but um her name is Keisha Collins I believe it's Keisha Collins. I will have her tag below or I'll have her name or her channel or something up here so you guys could see her. But she, um, one, I'm gonna order these Nikes that she ha she had in one of her videos about like the fitness stuff that she wears. And anyway, it was coincidentally, my husband has the same sneaker. So I'm gonna order those. And then she has these like two brands that she really pushes and they have that rouging in between the booty. And so I'm hoping that the rouging will help to disguise my imposter booty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cause when I do see the girls wear it, the booty be popping, but I don't know if the booty is popping because the booty has already been popping or if it's making the booties pop. Okay, cause your girl need a little help right now. She need a little help so I'm gonna order like two two more sets offline and then we should be good we should have five to seven good rotatable we'll have five to seven rotatable outfits to go work out in all right so I probably won't order those until next week or maybe I'll order them this weekend so I can get them next week and then we'll be straight we got to build up the fitness wardrobe and it looks like we got to build that up before we build up like going shopping shopping because I'm not really trying to buy any clothes until like I'm down another 50 pounds. I already spoke about that before but I, until I get like knocking at 200 I don't want to buy anything else like I just want to wear my clothes big or whatever and just go through it. I just got to go through these go through this and then I'll go shopping I'll go shopping so I'm on the way home now I gotta go cook we're having cabbage and beef and cabbage with a little bit of bacon yes we're gonna have pork and that's gonna be for dinner wow wow Full disclosure, your girl had a candy cake today. She went and got a candy cake. I had some weaknesses. I don't even know why. I'm just making sure I'm in focus, y'all. I don't even know why I was weak today, but I really was. But I did not eat the whole cake. So I told hubby, um, we both had some weaknesses today, but I didn't eat the whole cake. So I'm taking him, giving it to him. I'm giving him the other half of the cake. So I am proud of myself though for not eating the whole cake and actually talking myself through like why are you eating this cake do you really want this cake is it really like satisfying you are you getting what you need from it right now I was really asking myself these questions and then I just stopped I got to a point where I was like then stop eating the cake like stop eating the cake let me show y'all I'm gonna need to show y'all the car facts here's the cake here's the half eaten cake can y'all see yeah I'm just, this is a part of the journey. Messing up, getting back up, 
talking myself through it. I actually had asked God to remind me and he did remind me to get some sticky notes. I have them right here. I think I talked about this before because I want to put some sticky notes like all around me, like in my car, at my, at the counter, at the shop to just like, just to have something to look at like a scripture or, or and, and or something telling myself you could do it. Like, you can do this, Shayna. Like, are you really hungry when it just pops in my mind? Because sometimes that's just the enemy. Because, like, he's peeked around the corner and he saw that your girl is about to glow up. And it's like, I'll, I wouldn't even be... I, and sometimes I'm not even thinking about food, y'all. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not hungry. And all of a sudden, it's just like, you want a snack? Do you, you, you think you want a snack? And I'm like, where did that even come from? My stomach is not growling. Like, you've done this before. Where is it coming from? And I just, I was like, you know what? Let me get some sticky notes to just kind of have around me to just help combat that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna start doing that. And also in the car, because I get weak in the car, you guys. I get weak in the car. Don't let me pass a Chick-fil-A. Like, don't let me pass a Chick-fil-A, okay? I already feel like Chick-fil-A is God's calories anyway. You know what I mean? I need something that's like, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no! No! Hi guys happy friday happy friday we have exactly about 15 minutes y'all can't see that i was downstairs having coffee with hubby watching rocks top of the vlogs yes we gotta go to the shop so i'm gonna get showered get my smell good on this will be quick because i just put on jeans and my shop shirt y'all already know y'all already know i'll see y'all in a little bit let me put my face together and then we'll kind of come back and talk while i right before I get dressed. Bye. Little intermission, you guys. This right here, a lot of people don't really care for this perfume. I hope he got this for me um, because he said it reminded him of his Sean Paul, no, Mugler Amen. And this is the angel version, I think. I'll put it here on the screen for women. And I love this. This smells so, so good. I hope I'm not getting it confused, you guys. But also, I am a heavy sprayer here everywhere. We're gonna go perfume shopping tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do that. Tomorrow is Saturday, the 1st of April. I think I mentioned that before. But he also bought me a few others. He bought me this one because I am a heel girl, at least I used to be. Um, and this is good girl. And so he was just like, <laughs> she's gonna like this shoe. And I actually had never seen that before. This is another one that he bought because of the bottle. Um, this is actually Sean Paul Gottlieb. But this smells really nice too. I wear this more when we're going out somewhere. It's very, very mature in my opinion. So it's not something like I would just put on to go to the shop. He got me, I just brought them all out here for y'all. <laughs> it's Ariana Grande the cloud so this is a dupe for baccarat i have baccarat as well this one is the most budget friendly okay this is budget friendly as well i hope the camera is picking it up you guys so this smells like baccarat and this is actually their dupe for baccarat this is the lotion so i have the lotion here so this is um gentle fluidity i actually just got this one this one is a little bit more on the the male side in terms of like the notes. no i don't know anything about notes you guys and this is the one that i actually really really like they say that this has the same exact notes it's just it's more vanilla in this one and this one i don't know but i bought the travel size in this so i could just test it and see how i liked it you guys see here this is my favorite of course and i definitely have to re-up on this but listen i gotta get ready for work but i wanted to come in and kind of just show you like how hubby does my birthdays okay but we're gonna get some more perfume tomorrow and oh i love how this smells but let me go ahead and put my clothes on you guys and i'll see y'all in the next clip all right bye Okay, you guys, 
So we are downtown at Lululemon. We're not going to be in here too long because it says 10 minute parking and I really don't know where else to park. But we want to see what they have in here for fitness real quick. green down there but it doesn't look green I it <laughs> like that is not green these seem shorter than 28 inches I know they do yeah that's why I held it to me and yeah, I'm like, it's uh, like uh, that doesn't matter right 28 inches I guess it depends on I'm 5'6 so yeah and I'm 5'11 oh so, gotta see said that this one is for yoga for stretching and it does feel I feel like I don't know what yoga pants feel like but these feel like yoga pants if I had to like guess so yeah these these aren't the ones so we got two out of four love that all right let's check out let's go get some perfume oh did you film it over oh I vlog I don't. Do you want to start one today? Sure. Uh, it's actually me and my husband, Shana J. and Harry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Um, I like your purple. Yeah. It's cute. Thank you. What do you want on um, TikTok? Uh, Danny. 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 Oh, Danny. Okay. So I see. I'm already buried, but I see what you're saying. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, I am at Indie House and it looks like there are people in here and I don't know what their policy is with filming, but I'll show y'all what I get if I can if I can't get any footage. So let's go get some yeah. So it was pretty crowded in there. So I did not get to film, but we got some new perfume. That I'm super excited about. Let me show y'all real quick. Oh, you know what? Somebody's waiting for a parking spot. This is the end of the vlog though. So we will, I'll see if I can get in here and show you guys what I got. But if not, it'll be in next week's vlog. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Or you can also follow me over on Instagram. Not or. And follow me over on Instagram. So you'll get it there first anyway. Alright. See y'all in the next vlog. Bye.